Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is July 18th, and that means day 199 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out this very cool Zippo-inspired business card holder. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 199 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description there's a fact section. There's also the Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you really help out the channel. On today's episode, we printed out this very cool Zippo Lighter business card holder, and our print turned out very good. I am really happy with the results. This is a very cool design. It comes in two pieces. And then you just use a piece of 1.75 filament to create the hinge and it worked perfectly. I haven't even glued mine in and it's staying in nicely. I think the curvature of the filament strand is enough to hold it in place. If you straighten it out too much, it might slide back out. So I just kind of left it as is, slid it in and cut off the two ends. But either way, the print itself, it turned out perfect. I mean, this is a nice little working hinge. The interior is super, super clean. The surface is a little bit wavy and I do have a major, major, major fuzz line from the uh, layer change scene. And that's right there on the edge there. And of course, those always seem to land on the corners. I definitely got to master my seam where it's going to land. But other than that, the print itself, it turned out awesome. I am super happy with the results. We use some of that Matter Hackers Pro Series filament in the color of gray on our GMAX 1.5 XT Plus. And we downloaded the file from cults3d.com. And once we had it downloaded, we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, we used a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers, four bottom layers, and three perimeters. I also used 15% infill because there is a little gap at the bottom that I wanted the infill to fill in. And I wanted to make sure that the top and the bottom parts of the holder were nice and sturdy. We also ran this out at 40 millimeters per second. And it was about a five hour print. It wasn't too long. And the results are awesome. This is a cool little business card holder. It really does have that traditional Zippo flip on the top. It's very, very nice. It has a hole in the front, and I think that was a miscalculation on the design because the business cards will, will, will um, kind of arch outside, so you have to have this hole, so that's why that hole's there. And I guess the big question is, is how does business cards fit inside this? And I happen to have a stack of my own Print 3D channel business cards, and they fit, whoops, perfectly. Oops. <laughs> And it's got that really cool Zippo action, and it's a very cool little item. And I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can download and print this yourself. And definitely check this out. I can see printing this in some of those really cool metal-infused filaments and trying to buff a really good shine onto this and see if we can get it to look like metal, or even aging it to look like an old brass lighter. I think that would be very, very cool. But other than that, I'm super happy with the print. I really love my really cool Zippo business card holder. Well, that about wraps it up for day 199 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.